Hello everyone and welcome back to Hemeldale Model Railway. So today is something a little bit different. What I'm going to be doing is building a 12 arch um, stone viaduct. So I've got three of these Metcalf kits. So let me just show you quickly what sort of the instructions look like if you haven't seen it before. Looks quite a simple build really, to be honest. So I'm hoping that it shouldn't take too long. So what I'm gonna be doing is joining these um, three kits together. And then where it's got these end walls here, um, I'll have a load spare so I can kind of build those out a little bit further to kind of extend it um, because this is going to form part of the two track raised section that I'll be having down on my scenic side. So what I'll do is I'm going to start building and then I'll just show you a few clips of what the um, kit looks like and some of the progress that I make through it. It's not gonna be a how-to video because that's what the instructions are for. But I'll just show you some short clips of the progress as I'm going through the build and then what the final thing looks like. So this is the main inner structure and you have to make two of those. I've just added some extra glue all in down the sides just to make sure that it's all sealed nice and properly. So that's just drying off now. And then I'll build the next one to go with that. So now both of the um, supports are made. What I'm doing now is fitting the brickwork inside. Uh, so as you can see, it's curved in there and then you just have to stick down the edges and then you just have to repeat the process for the four arches for the underneath. So that's all the brick lining done on the inside. Now what I'm gonna do is add in the side walls. So this is the first of the two sections done. As you can see, all the bracing and stuff, it's still a little bit wet, but it's uh, all added in, looking nice and nice and solid. It's one thing I do like about these kits, they're actually, with all the supports and stuff, they're actually quite strong. Um, I'm gonna, crack on with the other one that's on here repeat exactly the same process and then I will uh, start building the next one so this is the um, two kits or two walls should I say built up I've now just got to do the second sheet, which is all of the um, edging walls and stuff like that. Um, as you can see, it's going together really quickly and uh, quite a nice kit. So it's nice and simple to build and uh, nice and quick as well, so that's always a good thing. All right, let's crack on with the next bit. So this is all the capping stones added. So all the tops are done. Now all I've got to do is just join the two together. So I'll do that and bring you back and show you what it looks like. 
So this is the two sections all joined together, which makes quite a nice four arch viaduct. I haven't put um, the capping stones on the end here because obviously I'm joining kits together. So I've just uh, added these ones in and then you add the next ones in on the next part. But I think it's looking really good. Right, so that's uh, one kit done, two more to go. So this is the two kits together. What I've done is I've added in where the start of like the hillside will be. So there's like a retaining wall that comes out at an angle here. So the, the, the rocks or the, the hillside will start sort of covering a little bit of this part and then it will go onto the viaduct. Um, I've got quite a few of these extra sections here. So at the other end, I might make quite a big wall. But as you can see, so this is it as an eight arch. I've yet to secure the tops in here. That's why they're all raised. But this is it, stretching all the way down. Now, I bought these kits off of eBay and this one here, I think is a slightly older one because it's slightly different. You can see between the two, they're slightly different. Now, I'm gonna be weathering these anyway with some watercolors and also um, some sort of, you know, bushes and brambles all down the bottom and bits. So I think it will blend in quite nicely. You can't really sort of notice it much unless I probably pointed it out to you. Um, but from a distance, it doesn't look any different. I quite like the detail in on the weathering on, on these. It looks a little bit darker than it does sort of on this camera than it does in, in the natural light. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've got a really awful cold. Um, but yeah, if I stand up a minute, I'll show you sort of like the length of it as the eight arch. So this is the view sort of from up until um, the next four arch bit that I'll be building on this section here. But as you can see, sort of kind of what the length will be. Which is in down there. Now what I'm going to be doing is with the base here is I've got some uh, polystyrene that's sort of about so high. I'm going to cut out uh, I got them in long strips and I'll show you that later on in the video. Um, but I've got some long strips. I'm going to then cut holes in them so that this kind of sinks into it. And then what I'll do is be then building sort of uh, slightly higher bits and lower bits just so that it looks like some uneven ground that is going over like some sort of hills and stuff. And then towards the back it will then start to slope up because then behind it or well behind this viaduct will be another single line so i want this to look like it's like from a perspective that it's in front of a large hill that's behind it um, it's a bit hard to explain but i'm hoping that um doing that it will um it will look quite good um if it doesn't work out, I can always sort of scrap it and stuff. I'm going to make it up just out of polystyrene first, just to see if it looks okay before I sort of paint it and then sort of static grass. Because I was thinking with what with it being that I can sort of cut it out and sink it into, um, I'll be able to place it into it. I can then lift it out once it's cut to shape. And then I'll be able to do all the static grasses and stuff to it and then be able to put this section 
back into the polystyrene. So then it will be that I'm not having to try and get a sort of static app uh, grass applicator in underneath these archways. It will all pre be done. Pre be done? It will all be pre done. Um, and then I can just slide it back in. And then hopefully that will sort of make kind of a, uh, you won't sort of see any joins or anything. And I can sort of put some, uh, you know, foliage and stuff all around the edges. So that's the plan. Um, that won't be in this video, but I will show you it cut out on the piece of polystyrene because I need to measure out the width of how far the back section will come out. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to build the other half with the other four arches and then I will show you what it looks like in length. So this is the third kit added on. I've still yet to join up the two middle pieces and fit all the capping stones and stuff. But as you can see, this is kind of what the length will be. If I take you down to this side, including the end wall stone there, so it stretches to almost half of the space of the layout. Um, I've still got this gap here, so what I'm going to do, I think that one more kit would actually do it in size, and then what I have done is I've made um like these pieces here so these are all the so if you were just to have one viaduct you'd get um two of these so i've got another three of these to make um and what i've done is i've just added some extra sort of strengtheners inside and stuff just to make it a bit more sort of rigid and stuff on the side here because it was quite flimsy there was uh with the kit there's nothing really to to support these so i'm going to add in you know, just to make some sort of little triangles and stuff. So I'm going to add in a couple on there. And then this will be the further end, the, the further furthest end of the layout, because then that will go into a town scene. So having like those sort of brick walls there, I can then maybe get the retaining wall kit and have that follow down through up into this back section here. And then that'll go quite nicely with some stone buildings and stuff like that. So if I think sort of the uh, the gap that in between there, I think one more kit will do it. And then that will give me quite a big section of those to be able to uh, continue that bit there. Right, so thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed seeing little bit of the build and getting to see what it will look like when it's up on the layout stay tuned for the next video and it should be a bit more of a layout update and some progress up in the loft thanks for watching everyone take care bye for now